Hello, this is Paul from MoCap Central. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can retarget Unreal Engine 5 animations to a Cinti character. This is Unreal 4.27 I've opened up with one of the Cinti packs, the dungeon pack. Highly recommend these packs, they're amazing. So, what I need to do first of all is um, migrate this pack over to Unreal 5. I already have an Unreal 5 project, a brand new one, clean, nothing in it that I've created here. So let me go back. So right click on your top of your folder, your Polygon's Dungeon, and you're going to do Migrate. And it should be the only thing that's going to be migrated. And now we're going to go to Cinti uh, Content, that's my new UE5, and select Folder. Great, and we can see that the pack has been brought across here. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is import um, a set of Unreal Engine 5 animations. So this is the Unreal Launcher. Uh, under the vault, I have the Core Motion Pack. I'm going to add this to this project. Excellent. So here's the Core Motion Pack. Right, first thing we can do, we can go mannequins, we can go to rigs, and we're going to duplicate this file here, the retargeter. Let's duplicate that, and we'll name that something uh, that will be UE5 to Cinti. Just to keep everything together, I'm going to move this to the uh, Polygon Dungeons folder here. Okay, if we open this up, there are, in fact, um, two characters in here, two rigs. So you can see your source and your target. And I'll just move them a, apart here. So this is the target one. Obviously, both of them are the mannequin, which isn't going to help. If I do the drop, drop down, I don't see any option here for a Cinti. So we need to create that now. So I'm going to right click, animation, IK, and go IK rig. And let's rename this to uh, Cinti. Okay, let's open it up. And well, first of all, we'll, the character, let's grab one of the Cinti characters, kind of like the knight here, and we'll bring him up. What's going to be really helpful here is if you go back to the mannequin uh, rigs and look for an existing, you see here it says IK rig, double click that. And we'll move this into its own um, view here. Uh, let's make sure we can see everything. Cool. So under IK retargeting, you see it's blank here, but over on the left, you can totally see there's a ton of data here. So we need to make those. And the way we're going to do this is pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go through and copy each of these so we can see the spline, or the spine, is spine one, the spine um, set, uh, five here. So what I can do, I can go in now myself and you can see one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to select spine to here, which is all the spine joints. Right click, new target chain. It actually names it really nicely for me. Uh, it's pretty smart now in 5.2. Excellent. So I've got the spine. So now you can pretty much go through and you can see that the upper arm left goes down to the hand uh, left. And the clavicle isn't included in here. The clavicle is actually its own separate one. And you'll see those down the, doo -doo, down the bottom here. So... Give me a moment, I'm going to go through, I'm going to pause the video here and set all these up and then I'll come back and give you some more information. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. You can see I've add, added a lot of the uh, chain names in here. Not all of them. You can see there's a lot of left foot IK. I haven't bothered with those. We've got um, quite a few the metacarpals, any twist joints we don't have in the rig. Um, for the Cinti because it's, it's pretty simple rig uh, or skeleton setup. So I've kept those uh, very simple. Uh, one really important one here is this uh, retarget root, which is the pelvis. So uh, it's going to be the pelvis too. So right click and you can see set retarget root. And I'm going to hit save at this point. So I think I'm good. I think I've covered everything I needed to uh, on the body here. So I'm going to close this. Okay, let's go back to um, our retargeter here. Let's open this up. And now let's do a drop down. We can see Cinti's here. So boom, Cinti's come in, perfect. 
Um, to give you a little overview here, um, I am using Unreal uh, 5.2.1. Um, for this and I've noticed in, in 5 uh, since 5 came out they've been actively updating the retargeter uh, there's options over here now there's you know you can see all the joints so uh, for, I remember that wasn't available in 5.051 um, but anyway it's getting pretty streamlined okay the first thing I need to do you can see our mannequin is in an A pose and our Sinti character is in a T pose here with the arms out straight so we need to have him match the same pose so what you can do over here, we can enter edit mode and I'm going to grab the upper arms. I really like to make sure that my rotation is um, snapping at 10 degrees in this case. And I'm going to bring it down and just eyeball it right now. Good. Now I'm going to grab the lower arms and we're going to come over and we're just going to bring those out a little bit. And again, I'm just eyeballing it um, a little bit here. Okay, I think the hands need to just be rotated like so. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, I think the legs are slightly open uh, on the mannequin. So let's go uh, do that change. I'm going to drop this down to 5 degrees and just put like that. And now the feet aren't touching the ground or rotate towards the ground properly. So I'm just going to rotate them like that okay so the last piece here is going to be uh, if i come out of this you can see the pose is looking pretty good there the one bit i do want to get is the fingers and it's really nice that you can select uh, all the fingers here and then i can now update those and just bend them a little bit like so okay Okay, let's go out of edit mode now. Um, let's look at an animation. I'm going to try the stand idle. That's a really good one. Okay, I, uh, the arms look like they're poking out a little bit too much or sticking out from the sides. So let's go to the upper arm. Let's bring that down. Let's try it again. Okay, that's looking good. I think maybe a slight, maybe one more. If this is too much, we'll find out. Okay, let's have a look from the side. Hmm, it's looking pretty good. Let's try one of the dance. Okay, the fingers are working well, even though there's limited bones there. That looks good. Okay, let's save this before I have any issues. And let's now do an export of the animation. I'm actually going to make a folder inside my Cinti uh, polygon pack there. And let's grab a couple of animations and now I can do export and do the anims. Let's put a suffix in. Let's call them Cinti. Export. Excellent. I'm going to close here. Now we're going to open up. Okay. Looks like we got a good export there. Okay. I'm now going to open up one of the test scenes and we'll take a look. I've opened up the overview map from the Polygon Dungeons pack so we can look at the characters. I'm going to select uh, a rock golem here. Let's go to a pack and you can see the animations appear now. Because we put it on a Sinti rig um, or skeleton, now it'll work with all of them. So let's put dancing there. Let's maybe select this character and we can put uh, idle. Let's go along. Let's see some... Um, Let's see some dancing on this one. This will be fun. And dance in there and let's hit play. There we go. So we have those animations ported across and they'll work on all the Sinti characters. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, give any feedback, or you have a quicker way of being able to do the retargeting with the Sinti, please leave a comment below. Thank you.